Hi, my name is Michael Franklin. I'm a software engineer at Melbourne Bioinformatics, the University of Melbourne, and the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, working in collaboration with the Australian BioCommons and the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute. Over the past 18 months, we've been developing Janus, a Python framework for building portable workflow-based analysis to address one of our main challenges, sharing pipelines. We presented Janus last year at BOSC in Basel, since which we've restructured our API and expanded our feature set. Janus allows you to represent your analysis in Python, including how to interact with command line driven software and combining multiple tools in a workflow. With this Python representation, we can generate common workflow language, workflow description language, and other specifications in the future. This allows us to take advantages of the resources that each workflow community provides with no extra effort. For example, you could run Janus workflows using WDL on Cromwell and seamlessly switch to running CWL on Toil. Today, I'll talk about three challenges that we face when building the translation component of Janus. How does Janus abstract the features and workflow specifications, like in CWL and WDL? What do we do when functionality doesn't exist in the target specification? And I'll specifically discuss how Janus allows you to portably call engine functions. The first step to building Janus was looking at a number of workflow systems and identifying the underlying concepts. Fortunately, as workflow systems implement a number of similar mechanics, there's usually a large crossover such as connecting steps in a workflow, calling a command line tool, generating the command line, output file collection, and many more. We use Python libraries like CWL utils and WDL gen that provide name classes, which allow us to focus our effort on the mapping of these workflow concepts and let the library internally manage the workflow generation. As part of this mapping process, we identified functionality that doesn't exist in either representation, and this is the core of our second challenge. When we encountered missing functionality, we approached it in two ways. We could polyfill this functionality, providing a pseudo implementation, or we advocated and participated in its implementation in the alternate specification. First, let's talk about groups of files. Janus borrows the secondary files concept from CWL as a way to bundle multiple associated files into a single group. Janus understands types such as an index BAM or faster with indexes as placeholders for ensuring a BAM index stays attached to its BAM or multiple index files to a fast reference. As this is borrows CWL behavior, we simply provide the secondary file annotation onto a CWL type. However, in WDL, this functionality doesn't exist, so to patch this behavior, we generate extra annotations. Janus uses a predictable naming convention to generate the following WDL for a single index BAM and an array of index BAMs. We make sure that Janus handles the more complex cases like scattering over a single field and scattering over multiple fields, including the dot or cross product methods, which can get complex fast. And importantly, if a better implementation is written, one update to the WDL translator will update all workflows at once. Alternatively, if a feature doesn't exist in the specification yet, we participate in community discussions to advocate for its existence. For example, we're currently following the CWL version 1.2 release to progress our implementation of conditionals in a workflow. The final technical challenge I'll discuss is how we generalize the ability to access a specification's runtime environment. This might include operations like getting a file's base name, getting the length of a list, or doing some calculation based on those values. This is particularly tricky as CWL uses a JavaScript environment for evaluation, WDL has a standard library of engine functions, and both have different scopes for the variables you can interact with. In Janus, we declare an operator, which can take a number of typed arguments to perform some operation. An operator must implement a few methods in Janus, which usually involves translating itself into CWL or WDL. This gives Janus enough information to unwrap a set of operations in WDL with no extra work required. In CWL, the JavaScript expressions only have access to the variables that you explicitly include, so we ensure that those variables are in the execution context and perform an appropriate variable substitution. We do some special handling for standard out and end error and ensuring load contents are set to true where appropriate. This operator logic is designed to be abstract to ensure that we can support multiple translations in the future. We also have a Python tool for portable execution of more complex logic. These are some of the challenges we face when building the core of Janus. I'd like to thank Richard, Danny, Bernie, Evan, and Jason for their continual support of the Portable Pipelines project, Sebastian, Tom, and many more for their patience and contributions to Janus, and the Bioinformatics Community Conference for allowing me to present this year in video format. I wasn't able to discuss the toolbox, assistant, or the extended workflow patterns that Janus can support. But if you're interested in learning more or how to use Janus, please check out our GitHub or read the docs for more information. Thanks.